Number one thing to talk about right now. Number one thing to talk about right now. Yes, you guessed it. What's happening? What's happening with those unsealed documents pertaining to the one and only Jeffrey Flippin' Epstein? You know what's happening. You know what's going on. Don't act like you don't know, right? What are these documents and what's happening? Because some interesting names have come about. Some very interesting names. The documents, as says here by Sky's News, a US court has unsealed a number of documents relating to Jeffrey Epstein and the American finances sex offender who died in prison in 2019. The documents were part of a 2015 list civil lawsuit lodged by Virginia Gouffre, um, who says that she was one of Epstein's principal victims of underage sex trafficking. She sued Jelaine Maxwell, um, Epstein's former lover, for defamation after a spokesperson issued a statement describing Gouffre of allegations of Epstein as obvious lies. At the time, the 62-year-old tried to have the case thrown out, but District Court Judge Robert Sweet rejected her motion to dismiss it. Documents relating to the case were subjected to the court orders uh, um, sealing or redacting, then protect the privacy of some of the people named. If they are likely to be either people accused of wrongdoing or not included who worked for Epstein, flew on his planes or visited his homes, as well as alleged victims of witnesses. So all these people named are somewhat tied to all of that madness, all of that icky, yucky, disgusting, evil, deplorable stuff that was going on on Epstein Island. The Miami Herald first intervened to get um the to get the answer to the public interest groups um interest grounds are in 2018. This is the eighth set to be released. The day after the first round was published in 2019, Epstein was found dead, aged 66, in his Manhattan prison cell, where he was awaiting trial for child sex trafficking offences. So pretty, pretty crazy stuff, right? So let's continue. What's happening so far, right? Um, so far, we've got Janae Maxwell mentions prince andrew in an email in the documents released tonight an email that appears to be sent by gillian maxwell mentions prince andrew this email was sent on the address of gillian maxwell at l max.com to philip barden and ross gow in 2015 it reads i have already suffered such a terrible and painful loss over the last few days that i can't even see what life after press well um, will even look like statements that don't address all just lead to more questions what my relationship with clinton andrew and on and on it's pretty crazy that prince andrew isn't in prison isn't it it goes to show you just how rigged the system is that prince andrew a bona fide pedo a bona fide sex pest a bona fide creep an actual monster in the fucking clear is somehow not in prison that tells you everything that you need to know about the system, everything you need to know about the world and how it functions. If you're a higher up elite, especially from a fucking royal family, you can essentially get away with murder. It always brings me back to that statement that Donald Trump said that one time. Donald Trump said that one time when he was at the peak of his fucking fame, when he was maybe just got into the White House and became president of the United States. He made that statement where he said, if I was to go into Times Square and point and shoot somebody, like everybody would kind of ignore it or whatever it may be. Something along those kind of lines, right? And everyone was kind of up in arms about it. The more I think about it, the more he was bang on. He was mostly speaking about what happens when you have privilege and power. The same thing when he said that grabbed them by the pussy line. That grabbed them by the pussy line was kind of taken out of context. If I remember correctly, he said that grabbed them by the pussy thing to basically show off to the guy that he was talking to like, hey, I'm so rich, I'm so powerful that if I just grab them by the pussy, because I'm, I am who I am, women won't say anything. He can kind of get away with doing whatever he wanted. And as abhorrent and as disgusting and as awful as that is, that actually is reflective of the real world the real world is actually like that the more powerful you are the more noteworthy you are to have the more money you have the more connections you have you can actually get away with murder you can actually get away with being a pedo you can actually get empowered to do pedophilic disgusting sex pesty um abusive manipulative evil things to people and everybody turns a blind eye that's the actual truth of the matter. That's how scary it is out there. That's how scary it is out there. So when these higher ups try to talk down to us, regular civilians, and try and give us life lessons and try and tell us to follow their fucking example, we're like, hold on. 
Weren't you guys empowering creeps and monsters? Weren't you guys taking young, vulnerable women from all around the world and essentially exploiting them, tearing their lives apart and leaving them out in the street for them to pick up whatever was left of their lives and make some good of it? Weren't you guys principal in that destruction? Of course you were. Now you're trying to give us lessons. Why don't you keep on moving, sir? Why don't you keep on moving? More articles here. Woman claims Prince Andrew touched her breast in newly released documents. Again, how much more evidence do we need to see before Prince Andrew gets put into prison? And also, don't you find it interesting that the most deplorable, disgusting human beings like Prince Andrew, instead of doing the, the, the gracious thing and maybe unaliving himself, they will live a long and almost prosperous life into their old, old age. This guy, if he doesn't end up in jail somewhere, he'll probably live until he's fucking 101. With not a care in the world. He'll sleep like a fucking baby. Not a wrinkle in his eye caused by stress. Don't you find that interesting, these kind of people? He doesn't even have the fucking... He doesn't even have... He doesn't even have the grace, if that's the right term, to fucking self-expire and just take himself out of the conversation just to bring about some kind of respite and just to kind of bring a sense about of some sort of comic retribution nah he hangs around he's out there and sent barts he's flying to fucking florence he's going to fucking horse shows and stuff living his life as if nothing has happened while he's got a trail of victims you know trying to pick up the scraps of their lives absolutely egregious let's continue as we've been reporting a tranche of documents relating to the paedophile financier Jeffrey Epstein has been published. Some of them included evidence of a woman who claimed Prince Andrew touched her breast. In one document, the woman named Joanna Soyberg or, jo or Joanna Joyberg claimed that the Duke of York touched her breast while sitting on a couch inside a US billionaire's Manhattan apartment in 2001. He's been a sex pest since 2001. 2001, this guy's been absolutely touching up people and being an absolute menace. While giving the testimony in May 2016, Buckingham Palace previously said the allegations are categorically untrue. Can you imagine? Can you imagine the sex pest you have to be to do that sort of shit and still get away with it? Absolutely egregious. We continue with some sort of nonsense here. Maxwell recalls Prince Andrew visiting Epstein Island once, allegedly, right? Details of Ghislaine Maxwell's videotaped deposi deposition in 2016 have also been revealed in the latest released documents. She claimed that she could only recall Prince Andrew visiting Jeffrey Epstein's island once. So even in 2016... Ghislaine Maxwell was running cover for Prince Andrew, very aware that she didn't want to fuck up, you know, that cash cow, didn't want to fuck up that connection because you'd imagine she probably thought in some scenario, if she did ever get out of prison or if she did, you know, escape the clutches of the justice system, that maybe she could lean on those guys for an escape route or for a plan to go somewhere else. So she made sure to keep those guys sweet. Um, it says, yeah, ask whether any girls under 18 were there during her visit. She replied, there were no girls on the island at all. Yeah, right, Ghislaine. No girls, no women other than the staff who work at the house. Those are still women, by the way. I'm sure, you know, Maxwell or fucking, what's his name? Epstein wasn't just touching up fucking the girls who was flying in from Ukraine. I'm sure everybody was getting it, you know, for, for lack of a better term. Um, girls meaning, I assume you're asking underage, but there was nobody female outside of the cooks and the cleaners. Yeah, right. It continues here. Email appears to show Epstein asking Maxwell to issue a reward to friends of Gouffre. It says here, an email sent from Jeffrey Epstein to Ghislaine Maxwell has also been revealed as part of the documents. It appears to show that the financier asked her to issue a reward to any of Virginia Gouffre's friends who come forward and help to prove her allegations are false. So these guys were trying to run cover and ruin repu like reputational damage. Because I think that's what people sell a lot about um, Epstein, right? That allegedly he might have been some sort of massage agent. And allegedly a lot of the things that he was doing was sort of like the advancement of, um, is it like a honeypot sort of scheme? Where essentially you get very high ranking people in a compromising position where they are maybe engaged in sexual acts with underage girls and shit. And you use that to blackmail them so that you can basically extract you know secrets from them intelligence whatever it may be or just use it as a way to kind of make sure you have people in your back pocket so that's what people were alleging so on the other side of things i guess if you're a victim and you came out and you said hey this guy did this to me 
they would also employ the same tactics and try to damage your reputation by having people who operate in the same field come out and basically disprove your allegations by basically paying them off so they would pay them off to say hey say this person was lying and obviously because the person also works maybe in sex work or something you're more prone to believe them and then you would obviously um, think that that person was chatting out of their ass which is absolutely disgusting imagine you went through what you went through you suffered what you suffered from and you have people around you who work in the same field maybe even former friends of yours telling you no that didn't happen you know i'm sure there are some girls who probably have had mental breakdowns who've probably gone crazy because in their heads they can vividly remember what happened and how they got abused how they got raped how they got taken advantage of but then they have their own friends telling them no it didn't happen it didn't happen baby it didn't happen it didn't happen it's like oof flipping hell it continues here amongst the allegation listed by epstein in the email was a clinton dinner a clinton dinner yo bill clinton boy fuck you know um what's his name um uh what's his name bill gates's wife left him the moment he got mentioned in those emails right or he was mentioned in that list of being on the flight logs for the epstein island don't get me wrong maybe bill maybe bill gates's wife was waiting for an excuse to leave because i think she ended up hooking up with some guy soon after so maybe she was looking for any excuse to get away from the dude but she did the honorable thing and got away was from got away from somebody who was associated with a legit monster fucking hillary clinton hasn't missed a beat when it comes to bill even when that whole monica Lewinsky thing went down she is since she did a lot of victim shaming because you know hillary clinton was a queen of that sort of shit there was no sort of like you know female empowerment in that regard she really did try and basically paint you know what's her name um thingy to be a fucking whore or something right and didn't really chastise her husband too much and in this case the same sort of thing clinton's been named he's all over these fucking documents and hillary clinton isn't gonna go anywhere you know what i mean monsters not lie with monsters who would know that who would be surprised there she added i've already suffered such a terrible and painful loss over the last few days i can't see the life after the president um it continues here another one bill clinton mentioned in an interview under oath that's the headline that we want to see here bill fucking clinton mentioned in an interview under oath are we surprised are we really surprised of course we're not in joanna um in joanna soberg's interview under oath she described conversations jeffrey epstein that mentioned former president bill clinton in the court document she said that epstein told her that mr clinton likes them young referring to girls the interview was part of a number of documents in 2015 of the u.s defamation case by virginia gufre against Ghislaine maxwell bill clinton is out here you know being a fucking pedo who would have known who would have known man who would have known um but maxwell confirmed in other documents released that mr clinton had traveled to the board on um, board epstein's private jet she did not know how many times mr clinton also said he traveled on epstein's plane on humanitarian trips to africa and that the time praised epstein as a committed philanthropist in a statement released in 2019 spokesperson for the former president said he had not spoken to epstein in well over a decade and knows nothing about the terrible crimes of course you know nothing that's what you do when you're a pedo you deny you deny you deny but then the evidence comes out and guess what you go fucking quiet fucking horrendous horrendous bro absolutely despicable but again will he face any fucking you know will he face any consequences for it will he see the inside of a jail cell probably not you'll probably get a book deal you'll probably sit down with some big fucking tv network and give some sort of sobbing account of how he was manipulated or some shit and try and spin it as if he's the victim absolutely disgusting but again we're not surprised it continues here how clinton is involved new release flowers um names of 170 people um judge per sex judge ruling claims they were previously uh, referred to as john and jane does abc news has reported that bill clinton is doe 36 mentioned in more than 50 documents bill clinton is mentioned in more than 50 fucking documents there's no indication of anyone do yeah of course there's no indication of any wrongdoings you just get mentioned along a fucking career international sex trafficking pedophile and his madam right you just get mentioned in passing but you did nothing wrong sure he was photographed with epstein and admitted being associated with him in a philanthropic um, um capacity but his representative have said that he cut all contact with epstein in 2005 before he faced criminal investigations yeah sure look at that look at that picture look at that fucking picture bro honestly 
If anything is more damning than that, I don't really know, honestly. Virginia Griffith 2015 is reported to be including the claim that she met former President Epstein on Caribbean Island. Flight logs kept by one of Epstein's private pilots have confirmed that Mr. Clinton flew to the plane, flew Epstein's plane several times between 2002 and 2003 as part of him. Yeah, of course, humanitarian projects in Africa. I'm sure. While you're digging fucking wells, you're fucking abducting fucking young girls and taking them to another island and shit. Absolutely crazy. And let's not fucking look at the fucking pipeline between humanitarian aid in Africa and some of the top modeling agencies in Europe. Let's not even dig into that because you dig into that sort of shit and you're going to start crying. You're going to start crying when you start looking at the fucking details of some of the top modeling agencies in Europe and you start looking at some of the girls that listed on there and their ages and where they come from and the fucking financial, this, you know, um, turmoil and war-torn places they're from and how they get taken advantage of. It will make you shed a fucking tear. Don't do it. I promise you. You shouldn't do it. We continue here. Gufreya's question over the whereabouts of a photo showing her with Prince Andrew. In a transcript, Virginia Gufreya questioned um, over the whereabouts of a photograph showing her with Prince Andrew. Gufreya says that she was recruited by Jeffrey Epstein, former lover Ghislaine Maxwell, to be a, to be a masseuse for the disgraced financier and was subsequently abused by him she was one of the first alleged victims to speak and publicly was pictured with a now famous picture of prince andrew all the latest documents to be released today are part of the 2015 civil suit she says i probably still have the picture it's not in my possession right now um she also said the documents related to the case were full of nerf guns my kids toys and photos we continue another crazy shit can you imagine this look at this stephen hawking mentioned by epstein in an email stephen fucking hawking was on fucking epstein island too can you imagine what that scene must have fucking looked like stephen hawking running around chasing fucking 17 year olds and shit 18 year olds whatever it may be and trying to do what he wanted to do over there can you imagine what that must have looked like god almighty bro God almighty. Epstein mentioned um, astrophysicist Stephen Hawking in a reward email to Gilly Maxwell in a... Uh, he said that the false allegations had been made, including one that described the new version of Virgin Islands that Stephen Hawking participated in underage orgies. Mr. Hawking was photographed on set Epstein Island in March 2006 as part of a trip for science conference. The conference was paid for by Epstein and 20 scientists attended. Can you imagine him also being... He's so fucking crazy. Honestly, boy. This just goes to show just how perverse the world is. Honestly, it's ap the world is actually legitimately run. Is actually run by a cabal of fucking abusers, rapists, and fucking pedos. That's the actual reality of it. That's the actual disturbing reality of it. Like how much sex and depravity is actually involved in keeping up some systems or most systems in the world can you imagine like fucking hell man god damn it it makes you fucking sick um virginia Guffrey speaks there what else we got here? Gufre claims that Maxwell told her to have sex with several men. Um, one of the shows, Virginia Gufre said that she had been told by Gilly Maxwell to have sex with several men in a 2016 deposition. After asking Miss Gufre to in turn about each of the men, Laura Menninger, a lawyer who was part of Maxwell's legal team at the time, asked, other than Glenn Dubin, Prince Andrew and Jean-Luc Brunel, Bill Richardson and other princes, the large hotel chain owner and Marvin Minsky. Is there... Jesus Christ. Other than... How many names are these people, boy? Fucking hell. Um, is there anyone else that Gilly Maxwell directed you to have sex with? Uh, Mr. Gouffray replied, I'm definitely sure there is, but I can't remember everybody's name. No. Jesus Christ, bro. Jesus Christ. For context, Ghislaine Maxwell was living and traveling and working with Epstein in the late 1990s and early 2000s. They're believed to have dated in 1931 and stayed friends after breaking up. She was arrested by the FBI in 2020 um, when officers found her during a raid on the secluded property in Bradford, New Hampshire. Bradford, New Hampshire. After a free week trial in December 2021, Gillian Maxwell was found guilty of recruiting underage girl to be sexually abused by her former boyfriend she had been accused of recruiting. Fucking wild, isn't it?
absolutely wild honestly you can't make it up it's absolutely disgusting and kind of fills you with dread i'm not gonna lie i know it fills me with dread anyway it makes me fucking want to bath in my mouth seeing all this absolute disgusting depravity but again we're not surprised we're not surprised let's scroll up and see a bit more here um good Frey, oh well good Frey, uh Sober claims good Frey groped um with um prince andrew puppet what during a testimony in 2015, um, Joanna Soiberg claimed that she saw Virginia Gouffray being touched with a puppet of Prince Andrew. God almighty, they were using toys. While in Manhattan 21, in 2001, sorry, Miss Soiberg said that Maxwell called her to an upstairs closet where there was a puppet of a Duke of York, which was made for a BBC program. Yo, yo, it looked like him and she brought it down and presented it to him. That was a great joke because apparently it was a production um, from a show on the BBC and they decided to take a picture with it and Mitch Gouffray and Andrew sat on the couch. They put a puppet on Virginia's lap and sat it on Andrew's lap and they put the puppet's hand on Virginia's breast and Andrew put his hand on my breast. <sighs> Yo, that makes me kind of sad. I'm not going to lie. That makes me kind of sad. Oh my God, bro. More news here. Don Trump named in an interview under oath as well. They named Trump too. Trump was on the island. While en route to Manhattan, Miss Virginia Je Jeffrey Epstein, Virginia Group Frank, Ghislaine Maxwell, and Prince Andrew said the financier jet diverted to Atlantic City, New Jersey. The pilot told me to go back and tell Epstein that I can't land in New York and that we're going to land in Atlantic City. Jeffrey was said, Great, we'll call up Trump and we'll go to I don't recall the name of the casino. Jesus Christ. Trump is mentioned as well. All right, all right, god damn, bro. All of these fucking names. Epstein accuser says she met Michael Jackson. No, not Michael. Not the fucking, no, no. Fucking, you know, the king of pop, no way. Jonah Soyberg testified in a newly released deposition. She once met Michael Jackson at Jeffrey Epstein's home. Oh, fuck. She said nothing until what happened with the late pop icon. She said that nothing um, until what happened. There is no suggestion of wrongdoing by Jackson. His name has come up around the case before, as it's mentioned by a lawyer. Oh, man, that kind of, that bummed me out. Please, man. Not the king of pop, man. Not my guy. Not my guy. Please, no. Um, what else we got? Bill Clinton likes them young. We already talked about that. Um, the case is court documents stem from. David Copperfield was there, too. Performing magic for the pedos. Joanna Soberg, who claimed that she had been forced to perform sexual acts on Jeffrey Epstein, described going to dinner at one of Epstein's homes, also attended by a magician, David Copperfield. <laughs> Honestly, bro, the whole world is run by fucking pedos. Someone called me um, from the house and said that they, they would be there. And if I wanted to come to dinner, then I would, could meet him. Miss Soybeck said that Copperfield arrived and did, did magic tricks before asking if she was aware that girls were getting paid to find other girls. Copperfield did not get specific about what? So Copperfield was do, going to do magic and getting paid in women. It's, it's kind of similar to like DJs, right? When sometimes you get played, you get booked to play at a club. Instead of getting money, you get drink tokens and a bag of drugs. So I guess if you're a creep, if you're a sex pest, then you get paid in women or in girls and stuff can you imagine oh my god bro some like shaking trembling almost teenage looking women in this corner and you get to you know have your way with them and you feel nothing about that you feel perfectly fine about doing so yo how do these people sleep at night man how do you sleep at night knowing you have this in your fucking oh is former israeli pm are you serious God almighty, gosh almighty, are you serious? Are you serious? Former Israeli PM is also involved. No way, no way. That is flipping crazy. No flipping way does this make any sense. Please don't make this make sense. In this position, um, Epstein's accuser, Joanne Soyberg, um, has asked if she ever met former Israeli Prime Minister um, <laughs> Ed Mubarak. Ed Mubarak, she said to which, no. She also asked if she was recalled meeting any Prime Minister or Foreign President. And she again said no. Um, when asked if she had met any Nobel Prize winner, she said not to my knowledge. 
There's no just in the road doing no barrack. Soberg is one of the only women is one of men is one of many women who says that they were abused by Epstein. Yo, 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 yo. Can you imagine? Can you imagine if true? I wonder what now fucking Tesby had to say about that, eh? She's always on fucking Twitter ranting and raging about being fucking, you know, unapologetically pro-Israeli. Pro I wonder what Noah Tesby has to say about that, innit? Come on, Noah Tesby. Give us your explanation about that, bro. Come on, let us know. Gosh almighty. Disgusting, innit? Absolutely disgusting. Anyway, that's the main update for the most part. No surprise of all the nastiness going on there. Um, it just fills me with dread. Very upsetting. But I think most of you are aware of those disgusting things. So you don't need to talk about them too much there. But God almighty, that breaks my heart.